In this video, I'd like to do a quick review of a percent and go over a few examples. So we know that a percent, when we talk about percent, it's talking about, here's the sign for percent, this means out of 100. I always uh, remember that because it kind of looks like two O's. Here's an O, here's an O, out of 100. So when you see something like 13 with a percent sign, that's referring to 13 parts out of 100. You can think of that as a fraction. If you want to eliminate this percent sign here, you can cross it off and just write 13 over 100. You could also write this as a decimal, as 0.13. And we can do that by just taking wherever our you know, 13, the decimals right here after the 3, we can move it 2 to the left. To solve this problem, what is 40% of 88, there are two main methods. One is using a proportion, and the proportion that I use is part over whole is going to be equivalent to some percent over 100. So in this example, we are told that our percent is 40, 40%. 40 so that means 40 out of 100. We are given the percent. And we're asking, what is 40% of 88? So when we're talking about of 88, 88 represents our whole piece. And we want to know some part, some amount out of 88 is going to be equivalent to 40 over 100. So if I wanted to solve this, I would cross multiply. If you're unsure about that, I would recommend looking up proportions and solving proportions. When we cross multiply, we get 100x, and we get 88 times 40. So 100x is going to be equal to, that will be 3,520. And then when I divide by 100, I get x equal to 35.2. So our solution would be 35.2. That's if we want to use a proportion. The other way, if I can just mark this off here, is to just use algebra. If I were to take this sentence here, what is 40% of 88, and translate that into a mathematical statement, we go left from right, left to right. What we can replace, we don't know what that is. In algebra, if we don't know what something is, we put a variable in its place. So what, we don't know, we'll put x is is represented by equal to 40 percent in order to write something at 40 percent in terms of a mathematical statement we can write it in its decimal or fraction form so i know a percent is some part out of a hundred so 40 out of a hundred of is multiplication and then 88 and what you get here is let's solve for x x is equal to 40 over 100 times 88 if you multiply that out, you get 35.2. Our next example says, in a survey of 34,600 individuals, 13% claimed they did not have a Facebook account. How many people is this? What we're looking for, if I were to write this out, first just in a sentence and then a mathematical statement, I am looking for 13% of... 34,600. In other words, what is 13% of 34,600? That's just rewriting this statement. That's all I'm asking for. I'm taking this statement and I'm writing it in just a question form. And now I can take this and write it using mathematical language. What? I don't know. And when we are talking about something we don't know in an algebraic statement, we're going to represent that with a variable. Is would be equal to 13% would be 13 out of 100. Of is multiplication and 34,600. So to solve this, I just multiply 13 over 100 times 34,600. I get 4,498. 
Now, we kind of lucked out here. We did not get a decimal. So our answer would be 4,498 people. If we did get a decimal, we have to be careful. We would most likely round to the closest individual, right? Because sometimes we can have a rounding error. We can get 13% or 13% maybe was rounded itself. And we want to represent the closest individual. We'll round to the closest person. But in this case, we did not get that. In our last example, we are told that a survey of 278 nurses, 182 said they were treated unkindly by a fellow coworker. What percent is this? If I take this question and rewrite it into just a one sentence question, it would be 182 is what percent what percent of 278? And that's what I'm looking for. 182 is what percent of 278? Now, if I take this and rewrite this in terms of an a algebraic statement, 182, well, that's just 182, is would be an equal to what percent we don't know. So I don't know what this next part is, so I'll write an x. Of, we use multiplication, that's a multiplication sign there, 278. So in this example, I rewrote it in a brief question. I am now going to, after rewriting it in terms of its algebraic components, solve for x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 278. If you need a review of solving one variable equations, I would recommend looking that up, solving one variable equations, or you're welcome to email me. By dividing both sides by 278, let's see, I get 182 divided by 278. So I'm going to round this to three decimal points here. So I'm going to get 0 0.655. 0 0.655 equal to x. Keep in mind here, this is not in a percent form. This is, in its, this is a percent that's written in its decimal form. So to change this back into a percent, I will move the decimal point 2 to the right. 65.5%. So approximately 65.5% of nurses said that they were treated unkindly.